Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a trip to Spirit Halloween. If you're familiar with those stores, they pop up in abandoned strip malls and uh, empty buildings. It's kind of like Jeff Goldblum said in uh, The Lost World, life will find a way. These stores just bring life to these empty buildings. And uh, so there's one here in Greensboro that I thought we would pay a visit to. Actually, several. But we're just going to go to one. And we're going to check it out. We're going to go see all the costumes and the accessories and decorations and everything. So if you've never been to Spirit Halloween, we're going to take a look around. Okay, you come in and you have all these really cool displays. <laughs> Back there, look. Okay, we're up near the front of the store and you have this big display. Look at that. <laughs> This crazy clown, it moves around. And you can buy these big things too. They're, I mean, look at his crazy face. And then over here we have a pig butcher. I think he works in the local barbecue restaurants. You step on it, You're supposed to step on it. And then he moves around and he talks to you. He doesn't move a lot, he moves a little bit and he talks to you the whole time he's moving around. His scary looking face and so you, you have Reaper's Island, and you walk through this little thing, and they have all these little animated dudes. Here's a, a scarecrow, and you, you step on the, the little doohickey, and he ju he jumps out at you. <laughs> it's very sudden, too. It kind of startled me a little bit. He jumps out at you, and then he just slowly goes back down. <laughs> it's creepy. Here's a little zombie baby. A little, ooh, okay. And a zombie with a stake through him. And over here we have Pennywise. Unfortunately, you can't hear what he says. You gotta stomp on the, you step on the thing. And he starts moving and talking, and it's really creepy. And here's a jack in the box, and he jumps up at you. That Pennywise is awesome. I really like that. It's, it's crazy. His head looks a little off center, but. He laughs and he talks to you, and he's very tall as well. Of course, they have him up on these stands, so they look even taller, but he talks a lot. <laughs> and here I'm talking. Sorry. I, the music in there is very loud, so I, I had to dub in commentary. But you can get his big jack-in-the-box. What? Ooh! <laughs> and this thing pops out. Hey! <laughs> and over here we had... Some character I've never heard of. There's a spider, a little kid there, and you press the thing. And he was kind of boring. He would just swing a little bit and then say, I've been waiting for you, or something like that. He kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> he looks like Elliot from E.T. And a jumping spider, woo! <laughs> it springs out at you. It's a big jumping spider. And he's on a little... A little spring action thing. There's a an individual up there waving at us with dead eyes. Okay, and here's another one of those jumping spiders. You step on it and it just boing. Its eyes light up too. I think those were fifty dollars. And over here we have some clowns. I don't like clowns, but you can get free candy from this one. That's pretty cool. And he. He laughs and talks and, yeah, very spooky. These are all life-size. And then this one I stepped on and it didn't do anything. So that one's not, that one wasn't working. So he's just forever frozen like that, I suppose. Yeah, I've never liked clowns. Ever since I went to the circus at age four and got scared to death by one. Here are the jumping spiders, $49.99 the great big jumping spiders. Those are pretty cool. I do like those. Now they have it sorted by categories. All these over here are the adult costumes and I, I was drawn to the 20s. I wanted to go look at the 20s costumes. I love that stuff. Look, you can get some rhinestone handcuffs. You can be a naughty inmate. I'm sorry, innocent inmate. Just all kinds of things. So I'm headed back to the 20s, but then I spot, <gasps> look at the pretty dress. I love this. See, I already bought my costume. I would totally wear that. 
I need to dress as a hippie one year for for Halloween. I, I should do that. You can get these little hippie glasses, little peace signs. Look at the little iron-on patches, little psychedelic patches, earrings. <laughs> all the, all the, it's not 20s, obviously, but they've stuck it back here. You can get a floral headband. My character, Beryl Caskin, has one kind of like that. This one's a little fancier. Here's one with sunflowers on it and a little hippie headband. You can also get a pot necklace, <clears throat> a pot lay. It's <laughs> pretty neat. You can also get a pot, a leaf crown, a leaf headband. <laughs> yeah, I really like the, the hippie dress. That's very cool. And then you can get some horns. You can, they're made of rubber, rubber. And then we have these witch doctor hats. This one's really cool with the feathers on it and the skull. I like that one. And you can even get a shrunken head at Spirit Halloween. It's probably not real. And a cool wig. And I think, yep, yeah, some tattoos you could get to go with your costume. A little dagger. And you can even get a snake. And a walking stick with a skull doohickey on it. It's really big. And it's like a bird skull. And it was surprisingly heavy. I was having a lot of fun in there. <clears throat> so yeah, I was trying to hang it back up. You can get the full costume here. And they have different types, different styles of costumes. It's hard to see because of the glare on the packages, but... You have the dress. Over here we have uh, Victorian vampires. They even had different styles of vampire costumes. Look at that nightshade vampire. Ooh, check out this waist length jacket with tails and the big hats. I want to dress up like that. That'd be cool. And it's a walking stick. And vampire, a Victorian vampiress. That's pretty. I like that dress. It's really pretty. And then we have the medieval doctor costume. You can even get the, the mask that they wore. And the medieval gloves would be perfect for 2020. The only, oh, the, plague, the plague doctors. There you go. On this wall over here, we have some t-shirts that I thought were funny. I actually have this one, Let's Summon Demons. I have, I have one of those. <laughs> Caring for your demon cat. It kind of looks like Olive. <laughs> Let's sacrifice Toby. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like these kind of shirts. I think they're hilarious. <laughs> Mommy, can we keep them? <laughs> That's awesome. So they have some different types. They have a little Pennywise shirt. These are just different types of t-shirts. There's Freddy Krueger. Um, yeah, just funny little shirts. You can even get a blazer emblazoned with jack-o'-lanterns. That's pretty cool. I thought it was neat. I did a lot of talking to the camera in this one. Cute but creepy. Oh, I like the headband with the little bats on it. It's kind of stiff, too. You can even get really cool hats. I like this one. Sweet but savage. And uh, then we have the scarf that has little kitties on it. Some of them are skeleton kitties. It's cute. And another shirt. <laughs> Halloween safety, a sitter's guy. You can even get a vest that looks like a big jack-o'-lantern. You can't find that just anywhere. And Jason stuff. Over here we have clown stuff. Check that out. We have a horn, a black and white bicycle horn. That's cool. You can even get clown balloons, a little pack of balloons and a clown nose. And here's the costume. And they have different types of clown costumes to pick from. You could be more dapper or more goofy or 
or whatever. Yeah. And over here we have a big hammer, kind of mallet sort of thing. <laughs> so my kids would kill each other. They would they would tear that up trying to beat each other to death with it. And we have a little twisted clown. I love the wig. That wig is very cool. They never look that good out of the package though. And even a whip. And all, just all kinds of different little types of costumes. You can even dress up as a Chucky doll. Here's the mask. I've never been a big fan of Chucky. There's a hammer. There's the costume right there. You can see the cute little skirt. That is cool. Little skirt there. And a short shirt to go with it. And you come over here and you're going to find all kinds of... Day this is like Day of the Dead stuff. You can get a sugar skull mask. And here's the white, uh, the compact of makeup, the white makeup. Here's another mask. These, these wet brushes are awesome. I didn't know they made them like this. These are pretty. I got a detangler brush from one of the wet detangler brushes at Walmart. They are fantastic. I love it. I highly recommend it if you have, if you have trouble detangling hair. And look at this pretty headband. It's iridescent and very beautiful. And a little headbands. There's a skeleton half mask with black glitter. That's really cool. And you can get beaded. Uh, it's like you wear it on your hand. You could get a rosary. They even have Day of the Dead tights. They have sugar skull tights. And body suits you can get to look like a skeleton. Just kind of everything. So here we again we have the 60s stuff. Still love that dress. It's very cute. Here's the actual costume. Here's the package and what you will get. It comes with the dress with a vest attached to it. And you get fringe boot covers. So you get the fringe that goes on your boots too. That's really, really cute. And then we get into the 20s. The 1920s. And you have like flapper dresses with the fringe on it. Look at this one. This one is cool. That looks like something my grandmother would have worn. You can get a little fake cigar if you want to. Or a fake cigarette. It comes with batteries. To light up. And look at this pretty dress. Oh my goodness. Look at all the beads and fringe on this dress. It's so cool. And of course the little wig. I don't know that I would go with that wig, but that's okay. A, a swanky flapper. That's not a euphemism. And here we have a gangster tie with a little elastic band on the back. So you just put it under your collar. You can even get a little pipe and a cigarette holder. That This one is covered in rhinestones. This is a little bit shorter. Or you can get one of the really long ones like, like this. Looks like a magician's wand. You could even get gangster apparel. Look at this. Golly, look at this jacket. This is awesome. It was a little pricey. Yeah, $89.99. But look at all the sequins and detail. I mean, it's a beautiful jacket. It even has detail and it's fully lined on the inside. And up there are the uh, some of the different packaged costumes. And this dress, the red and black with the fringe. Oh, I love that. I love those clothes. I want to dress up like a flapper one year. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at Charity would like this necklace. Look at the big red rhinestones all over this necklace. Yeah, she would totally love that. It's only, what does that say, $12.99? Shoot. Not bad. Some of their stuff is a little high, but, you know, some of this stuff is hard to find, so. You can even get a rocker wig. Look at that. And a punk hat. That's neat. And here's a uh, fancy flapper dress. And it comes with a little headband, too. Very cute. You can be a glam rocker. Oh, my goodness. Check out this vest. It says Born Free on the back. 
That's pretty neat. A little punk rocker vest. And I love this skirt. Oh my god, I love this skirt so much. Check that out. Look at the cheetah print on that. Cheetah print and, and uh, plaid. You don't see that every day. And then we get into the 80s stuff. Woo, look at the leg warmers. You can get them in these neon colors. And you can get the gloves too. Woo. You have a hat that says, as if. <laughs> Look at all this 80s stuff. Oh my God. You can get jelly bracelets. That's not bad. You get 12 of them here. That's not bad at all. Check out the hat. This is a 90s hat. Remember when you could get belts made like this? A 90s cap. I think it was $9.99. That's not bad. Here is a really good example of an 80s hat. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Look at all the costumes up here. You could be Richard Simmons. I want to be Richard Simmons for Halloween. He already bought my costume, so I shouldn't have jumped the gun. I should have waited and come in here first. Here's a cool jack jacket and a NASA hat. You could be a spacewalker in this silver skin suit. And here's a regular NASA hat. They even have space helmets with a flip-up visor. That's interesting. And look at this big belt. Oh, I love that neon pink wide belt. Oh my god, I would have killed for that when I was a teenager. And here's a little butt pack with the 80s <laughs> Saved by the Bell design on it. That wig is okay, but it's not big enough for 80s hair. And you have the inflatable cell phone and boombox. <laughs> she's trying to look like Madonna. Yeah, it's a little accessory kit. You can even get a little track suit like the 80s people wore. If you were really fashionable, you had a track suit. But they have all kinds of stuff. Here's some Fortnite costumes. Um, yeah, but look, this is a big store. I mean, we've just looked at a little bit of it. There's tons of stuff in here. Here's some Rick and Morty stuff. Here's a portal gun and socks. Here's one of the masks. Here's an inflatable suit. You could be a pickle man. Golly, here's a laser gun. Here's neat stuff. Here's some... Look at that. All kinds of Marvel costumes. Yep, there we have the Joker. I don't know. I don't quite like that costume. I don't know why. It's alright, but meh. And we have some Joker accessories here. And here's a really cool Black Panther hat. It feels like leather. It's really cool. I like the, lim the emblem on it with the silver behind it. That's really neat. That's a nice hat. I, I don't know where that came from. I just saw that one. Here's a Spider-Man skin suit. Okay, now you get over here, and you have some, looks like Harley Quinn kind of stuff. God, look at that jacket. <laughs> that looks festive. You can get the big baseball bat and the hammer. I probably can't wear this shirt in a, a cooking videos, can I? Would, I? would I get a strike for that? Would I get reported? They even have stuff for friends, and this will be kind of a sad costume, because really all they have is, like, you could get this apron, okay? You could put on the apron, I guess, and uh, a hat from Central Perk and some socks from Central Perk. And here we have some iron-on patches and lapel pins from Central Perk. So, um, I guess you could put those on your apron, and then a shirt that looks, that's, I think they put, could have picked a better picture for that. Okay. And that's all they have for that. And they also have some Dr. Seuss stuff over here. And you could dress up as an M&M. Not M&M, but the candy. And Cookie Monster. If you want to get beat up, you can dress up as Elmo. Or get tickled all night. Oscar the Grouch. That'd be funny. Big Bird down there. Hmm. Here's some marshmallow stuff. If you wanted to go that route, I guess you 
it's there. You can buy it if you want to. Um, I, w I thought about doing this right here. I was going to do a 50s style costume with a little poodle skirt and everything, but I changed my mind. My costume is not exotic or elaborate or anything. Look, you can even get little poodle socks. Look at that. And the little glasses. You can even get the necklace and earrings. You can even get the jacket like they wore in Greece, the pink ladies. I really like the poodle skirt though. Over here we have pirate stuff. That's a cool costume. I like that. That's neat looking. You can get a little flask. And you can even get a parrot. Put it on your shoulder. As I am modeling, demonstrating here, you can get him out of the bag so he won't suffocate and flop him on your shoulder. You can even get a gold tooth. They have a pirate's gold tooth. And a flintlock. You can get a puffy shirt and be Jerry Seinfeld. That's for the pirate costume, but it makes me think of that Jerry, the Seinfeld episode. <laughs> and a headband. Yeah, just a headband. And a pirate's hat with different snaps so you can adjust where it is snapped on the hat. You can do it any way you want to. And here's a little waist doohickey. That's a cool costume there. I like I like that one. That's pretty. Oh man. What's over here? Some different TV characters. We have this individual. What is that? I don't know. Napoleon Dynamite. You can even be Coraline if you want to. It's the first time I've ever seen an adult's Coraline costume. American Horror Story. Um not the lady in the bonnet. That's, um, yeah, that show. I blanked on the name of it. Um, God, some of, a lot of this stuff I don't know because I don't really watch TV, but, yeah. You could dress up as a, a vault dweller over a watch. I don't know what all. That's cool. You could even dress up as Colonel Sanders. Who would have thought? They even had a kid's version of that. And dear God, tell the tubbies, why would you want to buy that? Who would spend money on that? Here's a weird thing. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just thought I'd take a moment and show it to you. I could buy this and wear it home and scare my cats to death. <laughs> they don't like it when I have on masks. It freaks them out. Here we have some more Harley Quinn stuff. Come down this way, and we have some Harry Potter stuff. A scarecrow. They have these giant. Oh, look at that scythe. Neat. You can even be. They have like a redneck costume. Let's see, Dick's Morningwood. <laughs> Whatever. Hardy har har. You can get a, a redneck. What does that say? Redneck beard and the shirt and hat and everything. You could dress up as a banana and he's holding a banana for scale. <laughs> you could ride an ostrich. Um, you could um, peanut butter and jelly. If you got two people together, you could be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or you could be a party pooper and sit on a, a toilet. You could be a hot dog with all the works. That's Lieutenant Dangle from Reno 911. That'd be a fun costume to do. I'd put him in those white cowboy boots that he got. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be like White Claw. You can be a can of white clam seltzer. Or a taco. <laughs> you could dress up as a baby. You could dress up as a pile of poop. Inflatable poop, nonetheless. And this is kind of, yeah... Infrared, very interesting placement. Or a flamingo. And what else have we got? Sorry, I had to keep stopping. You could be a pickle or a squirrel. I like the squirrel costume holding his nuts. Look at him. Those are some big nuts. And over here we have just brightly colored different things like hats and socks 
and little skirts and whatnot. If you're putting together a costume, you could be like Rainbow Bright or something over here, but they're just plain. See, they don't have anything on them. So you could, and they have little skirts down there and masks. So if you were just looking for a plain one that you wanted to decorate for your costume, you could do that. You could be a grandma. You could be grandma for Halloween. Or a, an inflatable dinosaur. You can even be a breathalyzer or a gorilla. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here's the hairspray over here. You want to make it different colors. They have all these different colors to choose from. They have more over here. A lot of the yellow is already gone. And then we have a Mad Hatter. Very cute. Here's a crown if you want to be a king. And they have some tiaras. A little magic lamp. You could be a preppy schoolgirl or a nerd. I like the nerd costume. And over here we can you can be a sports person, a gymnast, if you want to. And let's see. Oh Ghostbusters. There's a Ghostbusters costume. That's pretty cool. Like here's some Fortnite stuff. Here's a Fortnite shirt. Just over here by itself. I don't know why. You could be a devil. I kind of thought about, I've thought about doing all kinds of costumes. I like the little devil costume. You could get a lace eye mask. Get your horns here and a whip. And they have little chokers and accessories. And this is a fallen angel choker. Kind of like Aiden, but I can't see him wearing that. Look at these little shorts with the little, the little uh, stitches on them. The laces. And then you can get these basic pieces here, like an off-the-shoulder leotard or a hooded black dress. This long dress is pretty. So you could take that, you could take these basic pieces and make, you know, whatever kind of costume, whatever look you're going for. Ooh la la. Look at the fancy little frilly things. I, I really like this right here. And this, those are just cool. The white one and the black one are really cool. There's the little lace-up uh, waist thing. Little skirts. There's a white starter tutu dress. If you want to be a little ballerina or something. They have little furry boot covers. You could be all kinds of animals. Oh, look at the claw gloves. And these are little furry uh, gloves. Look, it has white fur on them. That's so cute. And you could do your your face. You could put these little stickles, stickers on to look like a little cat if you want to. You have little lace bunny ears. <laughs> All the little accessories if you want to be a fox. You can get these little fox fur gloves and the ears and tail and everything. You could be a deer. Here's the deer tail sticking on your backside. Little white tail. And then they have a bunch of hats, all different kinds of hats. Oh my goodness, look at this. God, look at that huge top hat. Oh my God, it's massive. And then we, you have a beer hat. You can look like you're wearing a beer. There's a cute man wearing the cowboy hat. And we have a chef's hat here, or a Viking's helmet of hollow plastic. A captain's hat. Very nice. Or again, here's the little crown. Yeah, oh, I like the rainbow top hat. That's really cool. Look at that. You could even be a milkman. Look at the milkman's hat. <laughs> and then over here they have the wigs. They have quite a few wigs. They have an impressive selection. I actually have that old lady wig with the bun in the back. I have one of those, but I've never used it in a video or anything. But I have it. I found it somewhere. That's a pretty wig. I gotta pick out a wig for my costume. I think one of the ones I have will work. That's a neat one. 
yeah, all different, all different styles and types of wigs. Long ones, short ones, curly ones, straight ones. You could even get a mullet if you want to wear a mullet or a wizard's wig with a beard attached. This green and blue one, it's kind of like a mermaid wig. That's pretty. And you can get a little pack of mustaches if you want to do mustaches. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, look at that crazy green wig. And you can even get these long coats in different colors. And walking sticks. Look at all the canes and walking sticks. Here is a red sequin walking stick. It was on the wrong peg, so I had to pull it off. Check it out. That's a cool walking stick. Let's put it back with the other one. And then we have some pretty elaborate face masks over here. Look at these things. Look at this one is so ex it's elaborate. It's very intricate. It's a, a latex werewolf mask. Very, very crazy. Do not try on masks. I didn't try on any. I was just looking at them. That's some crazy ones in here. Look at that. Look at this one. Gosh. It's a petrified pumpkin mask. That is something else right there. That is something. This one's cool. Hooded darkness, does that say? Yeah. A little crow mask. You can even get a chainsaw. Look, it's a, like a rubber chainsaw. I don't think it makes any noise or anything. You can get these masks here, and the mouth opens a little bit on it. Or you could get a giraffe mask. They had some of the horse masks like that too. They were higher up on the on the wall. And over here we have a whole arsenal of stuff. We have these walking sticks here. This one has a wolf on it, and it even lights up. And here's a basket of doom. Look at all these scary pointy sticks. And axes. My younger son wanted me to look for an axe. But look at this giant sword. I was, I thought it was great. It was as big as me. It's almost as tall as me. <laughs> it's, it was surprisingly heavy too. Here we have a, a Viking axe. Like that. Some more axes. Yeah, I had to get my son to look at the, the axes and figure out which one he liked. And swords. We have all kinds of swords and daggers. There's some baseball bats down there. Little knives. A little bit of everything. And over here I saw... Look at this giant pair of scissors. Like, what? <laughs> Again, look how big they are. I bet I couldn't lose that pair of scissors. I lose all the other ones. You can get a saw, a crowbar, a drill, and it even has realistic drill sounds. How about that? And some little axe here. Now this is the one I thought he would like. This one. I showed him this one. But he actually liked the basic axe better than that one. I'll show you that basic axe in a minute. But he liked, and I'm glad he liked the basic axe better because it was cheaper. <laughs> here, let's see. Okay, up here is the basic axe. This one was only $6.99. It's just, I mean, it's just hollow plastic, but the other one was $14.99. You can even get a bone. And over here, we have a whole passel of vampire babies. Look, little zombie babies. They're not vampire babies. They're zombie babies. Look, this one has a diaper. Look. Like, why? I want to buy a bunch of these and put them in my yard. They'd probably get stolen, though. Zombie babies. The bad thing is they were $40 each. They're, they're heavy-duty rubber. This one's covered in spiders. <laughs> He's covered in spiders. <laughs> I always just, and they're all kind of in different poses. And then you have the creepy human centipede babies over here. Those are $42, I think. What was it? Yeah, forty two ninety nine. Yeah, look, it, I'm sorry, that's a little too disturbing even for me. A little bit, the little zombie babies. Look how they're all in different poses. Ooh, 
So you can just, you know, pose them. I want to put, I want to put them in my yard. This one's getting ready to do a flip. I, I'm oddly drawn to the zombie babies. You can get these plastic chains with body parts stuck in them. You can hang them from your trunk. You can even get chains down here. And they're just hollow plastic, but they look real. They're very lightweight, though. So, yeah, it's a neck chain. And then we have just a leg. You could stick out of your trunk if you want to. You can even get a heart. A little rubber heart or a brain. Just a little brain. It's kind of small. Well, you, can hand, you can get hands and feet. And over here we have some stuff. Krampus. Okay. This is... What is this stuff? Oh, these, these are string lights. And they actually... They flash and they play the music from the movies. I mean, you're not going to be able to hear it, but see, they flash and they play the music. Got a little too creepy. They get on my nerves, though. And some just random Halloween zombie cats down there. Now they have, look at the nice selection of tombstones they have. Although I'll tell you, these right here, you can get ones like this at Dollar Tree. These are $4.99, but you can get them at Dollar Tree. But they have bigger ones and much more elaborate ones. Um, yeah, they're, these are way bigger than the ones at Dollar Tree. You buy one, get one half price. It's pretty good. And then we have these little uh, lawn stakes with the little plastic chains. That you can put up and link together. You get three pieces for $9.99. I like them. It can get expensive though. And they have even more life-size displays set up over here. You have this uh, individual that looks like me in the mornings. He's yelling at us and breastfeeding a child. Apparently you press on him. He didn't do anything. He's not hooked up. Um, and then we have a two-headed varmint over here. It's literally, I think it's literally what it says. Some kind of varmint, swamp varmint or something. You step on it, and its eyes light up, and it starts making creepy sounds, and the heads start to move. <laughs> and here is a, what is this thing called? A night walker or night crawler or something? It's probably really good at yoga. I mean, look how flexible he is. And a nurse... Nurses can probably relate to this woman. What happens if you step on her? Oh dear, dang. Her head turns around. I've seen nurses leaving after their shift that look kind of like that. I couldn't do their job. Bless y'all. Anybody that's a nurse, I tell you. <laughs> what do you think of this <laughs> decoration? Her head just spins around and around. And she goes for quite a while. And then this night dude, what does he do? Ooh, he, just, he springs up and starts making noise and his eyes light up. And then he slowly comes back down. He slowly comes back down. And apparently that's all he does. He just goes up and then he comes down. Good deal. It's a little paper skull up there. Yeah. And here we have evil dolls. Decrepit haunted doll. Ooh. Oh my god, what? Haunted decrepit dolls. And big spiders. God, look at those huge spiders down there. It's a 50 inch spider. And a green forest spider. And over here we have the little wall of skeletons, different sizes. Oh, here's a lady. I don't know what she does. What does she do? She just kind of gyrates around. She just does this and makes creepy moaning sounds. And Yeah, she just does that right there. <laughs> Although in the right setting, that could be pretty spooky. <laughs> Put her like it right in the edge of the woods or something. <laughs> You can even get a snake skeleton. It's it's rubbery. All kinds of different creature skeletons here. I have one of those full-size skeletons. I got it last year at Walmart. A little alien skeleton. Very floppy little dude. Look, they're sticking together. They're 
having too much fun. Throw some cold water on them. They, and then just out of nowhere, we have these cute little plush throws. Nice, soft, fuzzy Halloween throws. Here's a cool steampunk fleece throw. I actually like that. That's really cool. That's, that's neat. It's very soft. And then over here, yay, we have Beetlejuice stuff. Look, this is the thing that was in the middle of my Beetlejuice wreath. I ordered it on Amazon, but they have them in here too. Yeah. You can even get little sandworm lot, string lights. They don't make sound or anything. When you press them, they just light up. They don't, they don't make any sound. You can get a Beetlejuice cup with a straw. I'll look at these sandworm candle holders. And you can get Beetlejuice playing cards. Oh my gosh. Beetlejuice coffee cups. I am alone. I am utterly alone. That's Lydia's thing. Sandworm Beetlejuice coffee cup. This cup is cool. It's like red dice. And this magnet. See, I myself am strange and unusual. <laughs> it was only $4.99. When I go back, I may get one of those. I like it. You can even get Beetlejuice kitchen towels. The only problem is they're twelve ninety nine a piece. I think that's a bit much. You can get a sandworm candy bowl holder, a sandworm greeter. And on the front we have some more decorations. It's showtime. And a Beetlejuice wreath. Just one. It's showtime. <laughs> that's pretty. I like the wreath. And a big Beetlejuice sign. <laughs> and never trust the living. These are just little table decorations. And over here we have some stuff. What does this say? There's much beauty and darkness. That's a little, another little table decoration. Now these kitchen towels, I like these killing it with the Grim Reaper. And the little, the Grim Reaper on the unicycle. Those were cheaper. I like that. Those are neat. You can even get a little pack of um, a little napkins, little Halloween napkins. The gray and black stripes. That's awesome. And little tablecloths for your Halloween party. I like that. You can even get seance stones. And here's a bunch of Hocus Pocus stuff. Which I will admit I've never seen that movie. I'm sorry, but Look, little placemats. You can get these coffee cups. They're actually kind of heavy. They're ceramic. You can get a Hocus Pocus coffee mug and a wine glass. That's a Beetlejuice. No, yeah, that's a Beetlejuice one. I don't know why it's over there, but it is. And over here we have Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which I love. I do love that movie. I like Beetlejuice, too. Look at these big. These are big. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas coffee cups and a clock. You can get a clock. Halloween Town sign. I like the the Christmas wreath with teeth. I'm gonna put that up at Christmas. Oh, and we have Sally. Let me see. This little Sally thing that you put batteries in. I think it lights up and talks or something. Yep. And then over here we have some more Halloween wreaths. That one's cool. I like that one. And here we have um, a pentagram pillow. That's pretty cool. Wik Wikipedia. <laughs> it's an actual book. And we have the Book of Shadows. This is a pentagram wreath that lights up. That's pretty neat. And here is some garland with black uh, bats on it with sequins. Or, sorry, glitter. And here's another wreath. This one's cool. It looks like it's made out of tree branches. Very pretty. Um, what is this stuff? This is some Ouija, Ouija board stuff. I tried a Ouija board once as a kid. I didn't really get anywhere with it though. Okay, now we get into the kids' costumes, and you have a lot of them are kind of the same as the adults. It's just kid size stuff. We have some marshmallow stuff over here. Look at all these Minecraft swords. Good grief. 
There's a pickaxe. Steve up there. Yeah, my son dressed up as Minecraft stuff a couple times. Here is a llama pinata from Fortnite. And all kinds of Fortnite stuff, of course. You're going to have your little props and costumes from there. There's a pickaxe. Different characters from Fortnite and different items that they may use. That thing what lights up. Even more. God, they got a lot of it over here. Look at that. Yep, tons of stuff. I really hope they get to do something for Halloween this year. Oh, what else have we got? Just a lot of this is just, it's kind of like stuff that we've already looked at. It's just kid-sized stuff. Um, these are the youth costumes, and the further back you go, you get into smaller kids' costumes. Look at that light-up machete. Hmm. Oh, I like this, that, that witch costume. That's really pretty, a little dress. And look at this one. Oh, I love the skirt on this dress. Look, it's got the sun and moons all over it. It's beautiful. There's some minion stuff. If you want to dress up as a minion, you can get the little pieces for that. A lot of these characters and things I don't know. Some Dr. Seuss stuff. You could be Catwoman. A little Catwoman costume. A little jumpsuit. And some Frozen stuff, of course. Look at these little dresses. Oh my goodness, it's Alice in Wonderland. Look at that cute little dress. Or you could be Minnie Mouse. Oh they're so cute. That's adorable. Or the little bumblebee. Oh, that's from um, LOL Surprise. I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. Here's a little minion's dress. And then you have some of the children's size wigs. Here's Moana here. Just all kinds of stuff. We're over near the checkout. Kind of getting back towards the front of the store. And here are the little baby costumes. Dress your little babies in whatever you like because when they get older, they won't let you do it. Um, like you could go with the elephant. That's so cute. Or a mouse, I'm sorry. Look at that little werewolf baby. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little dinosaur. Oh my goodness. A little rainbow cat or a scarecrow. <laughs> a cute a little cutie there. And they have some Incredibles costumes back here. It could be Jack Jack. And there's just this random spooky cat back here. I don't like a rubber cat. I guess they had an empty shelf, they just put him on it. And here we have some little baby shark stuff. Look at the little candy bucket. You could also use that in, at Easter for Easter eggs if you want to. You could use it for either, for both things. Just little baby shark costumes. And we have some other little plush ones. Like you could be a chicken if you want to. <laughs> or a flamingo with fur for some reason. And a little monk. I know that's a unicorn. And a monkey. It's so cute. I miss being able to dress my kids up. They won't let me do anything anymore. Here's a cute witch. Very nice. A little ninja. Oh, I like the little spider. A little fire truck. A little dragon. These little kids' costumes are just so cute. You can even be a sports person. Here's a duffel bag and some balls down there and a baseball bat. Just, oh, I like that dress. That Queen of Hearts dress, that's pretty. It's very nice. Oh, this little dress is cute, too. Yeah, you could dress up as a fox if you like. I have everything for that. And up near the front, they have lots of just 
these random items like trick-or-treat bags. Here's one from Crayola that you can actually paint or color it. Spider um, web. Here are some more trick-or-treat buckets of different types. Here's a little basket like I used last year when I was Dorothy, except the one I used was a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. And we have socks. Look at these knee-high socks. These are cool. These look like they have laces on them. Yeah. Here's a whole pack of spooky socks. It's the horror pack. Seven pairs of scary socks. Look at them. And then we have some just Halloween socks, Ouija board socks. They even have some Beetlejuice socks. That's cool. And that was a really good deal. You get, I think it was five pairs for $12.99. Beetlejuice ankle socks. Very nice. They also had some Nightmare Before Christmas socks. I'll show you those in a second. Yeah, right there. Nightmare Before Christmas socks. And some it knee socks. No, thank you. <laughs> Golly. Oh, and you can get a youth size Beetlejuice costume. I didn't see those for adults, but I probably just overlooked them. That'd be a cool costume to do. Yeah, you can get a Chucky costume for your kid. You can dress your kid up as a piece of crap, although I'm sure it won't scar him at all if you do that. They won't need therapy later. You can get a Colonel Sanders costume for your kid and Transformers costumes. That one's cool. I like the dragon. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the little tour around Spirit Halloween. Um, I haven't been in one in a couple of years, so it was kind of nice to go in and check out some of the costumes and things and, and see what kind of different new things they had. I really enjoyed it and later I'm gonna go back with my younger son because he he took a little look at the video and he wants to go he wants to go check it out for himself and go look at the axes so thank you again I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon